Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to solve one very recent and uh, popular lead code coding interview question 2558 take gifts from the reaches pile. As you can see, this is another likable and recent coding problem on lead code. So we are going to understand this problem with some examples. We are also going to go through the logic as well as the Java solution code to solve this coding problem. So let's start. You are given an integer array gifts denoting the number of gifts in various piles. Every second, you do the following. Choose the pile with the maximum number of gifts. If there is more than one pile with maximum number of gifts, choose any. Leave behind the floor of square root of the number of gifts in the pile. Take the rest of the gifts. Return the number of gifts remaining after k seconds. Okay, so this is what the problem says. <clears throat> there are some examples. Constraint says that the gift dot length is between 1 to 10 raised to 3. So maximum 1000 gifts will be there in that array. And gifts of i value will range between 1 to 10 raised to 9 inclusive. K will be between 1 to 10 raised to 3 inclusive. Right. So this is what the problem says. So let's take this example over here. So we'll understand what the problem says. Right. So these are some. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there are 5 piles here, right, of the gifts. So first has a 25 gifts, second has a 64, uh, another has 9, then 4 and 100 gifts, right. So what they are saying is, um, we have to take the maximum gift here. So the ma maximum gift, every second you can do this, okay. So maximum gift here is 100, right. So you have to take that gift, you have to do the square root of this, right? Square root of this will give you 10 here, right? If it is not a complete square root, you have to floor that value, okay? Floor means you have to uh, bring it to the, uh, for example, for example, let's say you have 0 0.05, let's say 10.05, let's say then you will have to bring it down to 10. That's what floor means, okay? So you take this 10, you do the square root of 100, you get the 10, right? You have to now put 10 there basically, right? So you have to put 10 here now. This is what they are saying. This one happens in the first second, right? Now in the next second, again, you have to choose the maximum value. The maximum value is 64 now, right? So you do, th you do the same thing. You take this 64, you do the square root. You take, take the floor value, so it will be 8, you replace it with 8 here, right? So this is your array now, right? 25, 8, 9, 4 and 10. Again, you have to choose the maximum. So 2 seconds has gone, right? So third second. Maximum is 25, you choose 25. You took uh, square root of 25, so it will give you the 5, right? The floor value will be 5, so you put 5 here, right? Now your array is 5, 8, 9, 4, 10. So what is the maximum? 10 is the maximum. So you have to take square root of 10 and it will give you the floor value will be 3, right? So you have to replace this 10 with 3, correct? So after you take do this, now you have done this in 4 seconds. So total 4 seconds are gone, right? 4 seconds. So um, you have to now take the sum of these values after that. So 5 plus it is 13 plus 9. Uh, is 22 plus 4 is 26 plus 3 is 29, right? So 29 is the answer. So this is what the problem says, okay? If there are multiple same values, you can choose any of the value, okay? So this is what the problem says. So I hope you understood this problem. It's pretty straightforward uh, uh, for understanding. So how can you solve this problem? So what we can do to solve this problem is we can uh, do a very um, uh, use a very important data structure called as priority queue, right? Priority queue we'll use here. So priority queue is another very important data structure. It's in java.util package, right? It's part of a Java collections framework class. Um, so the important thing here is it has two flavors, right? You can use priority queue as a min heap or max heap, right? So min heap or max heap. So let me just explain you what min heap and max heap is. So uh, it will be more clear for you. So let's quickly go through a max heap because that's what we want to use here, right? So we'll just discuss max heap. And uh, so max heap is what, uh, let's say you have a priority queue here, right? Priority queue. So this is your queue. Uh, this is your front of the queue, right? Now, if you want to add here one, two, three, four, four numbers you have you want to add four numbers into max heap right 
you choose any order whenever you insert that elements always the maximum will be on the front right so 4 will be front then 3 then 2 and then 1 right this is a max if. so the front will always be the maximum right so when you remove something you will always get maximum so first you will get 4 then you will get 3 then 1 then uh, then 2 then 1 right so this is a max if basically correct so min hip is exactly opposite to max if. in that case you will get min minimum number right so this is a max if. so how max if can help us solving this problem because we always want to get the maximum number from this uh, piles right so that's why we will use max if here right which is a uh, using priority queue so i'll show you how to use a priority queue as a max if. And then we have to just do this procedure that they explained us here. So we have to find maximum value from priority queue. Then we have to take the square root of that value and we have to do the floor for the value and then again insert, insert it back into the priority queue. Correct. So this way we can solve this problem. The important thing about priority queue is there are uh, important methods in priority queue class. For example, add offer method right so add an offer method so to add something into the priority queue right so there are two different methods anyone you can use you can use add or offer method right so these methods has a time complexity log of n right so it takes a log n time for these methods to insert something into that priority queue right so let's go ahead take a look into the java code so it will be more clear for you how maxip can help us solve this problem so pick gifts is the method we are implementing nums array is given to us k value is given to us this method returns long right which is the sum at the end right so this is a long because this array can have large number so they are using long here right so first we will calculate the length of this array nums right into n this is very important step now we are creating a max heap of integers right which is a using priority queue so priority queue is holding integers right and this is how you can specify a max if this is a constructor of a priority queue you are using a lambda expression here right a comma b and you are saying that b minus a so it means that you are you want to use this priority queue as a max heap right okay so this is the way you can specify max heap if you don't specify anything here then it will be min heap by default okay okay so now you have the max heap so you will go through all the numbers in the given array nums you will add all these numbers into priority queue here right okay now your sum is zero in the beginning now you will start implementing their procedure for k seconds right you have for example you have four seconds here so you have to do this four times so that's what we are simulating in this while loop right so k minus minus is greater than zero what you will do you will uh, remove the top element from the priority queue pq dot remove will remove it from priority queue right and you will do the square root of it right and then you have to cast it to int so that this is basically you are doing the floor right that's why you are casting it to int correct and then you have to add that back into the priority queue correct so once you get the 100 you do the square root you get 10 this 10 once you get it you have to add that back into the priority queue again correct so that's what we are doing here okay so you will do it for k number of times because there are k seconds that you have to do it correct at the end you have to now start removing all the elements from the priority queue and i'll add those numbers into your sum so that you can get the total sum of the priority queue correct so while pq dot size is greater than zero you start removing it adding it into your sum and at the end you have to just return the sum right so n log n is the time complexity right because the add method remove methods take log of n time okay and the space complexity is order of n because we have used a priority queue to store the numbers right so let's go ahead run this code make sure it gives us correct answers so for these test cases for the first one we are expecting 29 and we are getting 29 which is a correct answer for the second one we are expecting 4 and we are getting four correct answers submit this code to the lead code make sure it gets accepted and as you can see the code is successfully accepted by the lead code it is 100 percent on performance and memory usage which is a very very good solution very clean solution using priority queue uh, it's on lead code 25 58 take gifts from the reaches pile another 
very interesting and recent coding interview problem we have solved using priority queue class make sure you go through this priority queue class this is available in the java.util package check out the documentation uh, it discusses all the important overloaded constructors as well as important methods there um, so this is one very important and very handy class to solve many coding interview problems where you need some kind of a sorting right okay so um, i'm going to add this java code in my github repository give you the link of this java solution code so you can check it out there are lots of other important algorithms and java solutions already implemented and available there for you don't forget to check them out they are very important ones from interview perspective if you like the java solutions in the github repository consider giving it a star on the github repository that would be great if you are new to this channel there is a very important coding interview related playlist to help your interview rounds it is called as lead code and lint code solutions it has more than 200 most frequently asked very important coding interview problems for you under one playlist those problems are asked by google facebook amazon apple microsoft yahoo many many times in their past interviews they are very very important coding problems make sure you go through them understand them very well if you go through those videos you will learn a lot about data structures algorithms problem solving logic building java programming and coding it will also help you learn lots of new techniques lots of new ways of different varieties of problem solving so make sure you go through those uh, different videos check out those uh, problems they will definitely give you good preparation for your interview rounds the playlist name is lead code and lint code solutions now if you are a fresher junior level developer and you want to practice more coding problems for your interview preparation purpose to practice your uh, uh, help you in your practicing purpose we have created three other important playlists for you here the names of those playlists are code forces code chef at coder check out those problems they will give you really good pra practice for different varieties of problems there all different important varieties of problems that typically get asked in the interviews are available in this uh, on this channel if you like this java solution where we have solved this important coding problem by using maxip as a priority queue then please give it a thumbs up to the video give it a like to the video subscribe to this channel subscription is very very important because that's how the videos can reach to other people so others will also be able to watch and learn from this video so do subscribe to this channel give it a like to the video share this video with all your colleagues your friends so they will also watch these videos they will also learn how to implement the different varieties of java solutions and how to solve different varieties of problems by watching these videos click on the bell notification icon button right away so you won't miss any important postings from this channel on this channel you will find lots of different varieties of problems solved and explained that you can use to prepare well for your coding rounds of interviews as well as java interviews those solved problems includes graphs matrices binary search trees binary trees breadth first search depth first search cadence algorithm binary search algorithm kruskal's algorithm dijkstra algorithm sliding window algorithm there are also lots of important data structure problems available for you here including stacks queues priority queues hash table hash map tree set hash set linked hash map linked hash set arrays linked list all those problems come with java solution code code is available in the github repository you will always find out the link of the to the code in all the videos description section uh, all the solutions are explained step by step for your easier and clear understanding on this channel so make sure you check out those uh, solve problems they will really help you in your interview preparation process for freshers and junior level developers we also have other helpful videos here for example frequently asked java telephonic interview questions and how to answer them java design patterns java architecture sql programming questions to the freshers where they will give you database tables they will ask you to write sql queries where you have to use different sql concepts like inner join outer join aggregate operations group by and having clauses different where clause conditions everything is on this channel explained with uh, different varieties of examples for your easier and clear understanding of those problems and solutions there are also videos that discusses recently asked questions to the freshers about unix like unix scripting questions shell scripting questions unix commands unix utilities questions everything is here for you if you like the videos on this channel if they are helping your learning process you are learning new techniques more problem solving along with data structures algorithms java programming and coding then please do leave your messages your comments your feedback below these videos 
your messages your feedback your comments are highly appreciated by us it it is very important and valuable for us they increase our motivation to create more quality content videos so do leave your messages your feedback and tell us how the videos are helping you if you want us to create videos about any specific computer science interview related topics java j2e related topics mention those topics in the comment section and we will create videos for you here keep learning keep coding keep solving more varieties of coding problems and most importantly keep your learning process going on continuously and thanks for watching this videos